ओम शांति संजय भाई ओम शांति ओम शांति इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द मूवी स्टडी that was in order to bring about world transformation the same attitude is necessary baba talks about the real roop of basant which means to have sense and be essenceful a check of what extent we have become full of knowledge and all the powers for the total behad transformation that is unlimited transformation is only when there is the finger of one thought same attitude and vibration can transform the atmosphere within a second baba told that you children are master creators and also emphasized that the balance of serving both as roop and basant then the final completion takes place and the image that what was in the beginning that means at the time of foundation and at the time of the end of the stabilization establishment the same that is swaha complete swaha complete sacrifice in the hindi murli the sacrifice fire is is na swaha swaha is made of two words swa and ha swa means swarg sato pradhan and when the things become sato pradhan baba talks that from high high it becomes aha that is when you sacrifice everything then instead of cries of distress the cries of wonder so sacrifice is is to be there but that should be a collective sacrifice and bhakti they do sacrifice they do om by using jaw till feet that is sesame seeds and wheat but what baba told us sacrifice the sesame seeds and wheat grain of your old sanskars and nature and behavior when we do mantan that what actually swaha basically it is transformation from body consciousness to soul consciousness a journey when we get transformed from a cart to a food a journey when we get transformed to body consciousness to soul consciousness that is any rakari sthiti as is the home
that we say that uh, we do home that is swaha, the sacrificial fire. In Hindi, it's called home, doing home or havan. When we do havan, then only we can reach our home. That is havan, that is sacrifice of our, that is swaha of our old sanskars and nature. What we have inculcated as we turn from soul conscious to body conscious. And again, Baba wants us to nullify all those unwanted negativities which we have inculcated in the due process. When you see a statue, when you see a sculpture, what do you find? that the sculpture has, that the architect, the whosoever has uh, made that uh, statue, has removed the unwanted part of the stone and the statue becomes. So Baba wants us to remove that unwanted part that is our old sanskars and nature. And when it is removed, as it is removed, so we are shaped as deities. And lastly, Baba has remembered those children who has maintained the balance of sense and essence and have brought one concern that is world transformation. And the children for whom they have constantly had the stage of being stable and that is the remembrance of Baba and service and nothing else. Baba is sansar hai. And then Baba talks about the children who has come from a public group, Baba asks that do you constantly remain absorbed in Baba and service? Because that is the core part. Unless and until there is the real love between ba the real love with Baba, then that where Agi comes from. And in that process, what happens? Baba, his son. Baba, his son. For that child, Baba becomes a son. Baba tells, how can those who are constantly engrossed in Baba and Sadhu be recognized? Those children will always be connected to Baba. And as those children are connected with Baba. That Sankaran, he will always be, he will constantly be the destroyer of obstacles. No obstacles, no hurdles can affect his state and affect the love with Baba. No storm would be able to extinguish that lamb. It would remain constantly alight. Baba asks, are you such constantly ignited lamps? You are a constant lamb. Devotees on the path of devotion keep a constantly ignited lamp in front of their images. Why do they burn this lamp? Because you were constantly ignited lamps in the living form. They keep lamps constantly burning in the memory of you. Then 
Nothing covers this light, does it? No storm ever makes it flicker, does it? Baba says, my dear child, your form is light and the father too is the light and your home is also the element of light. So Baba when talks about constantly ignited lamps, the lamps which are unaffected by the adversities. It talks about the real qualities of Pandavas when we just do Malthan that who are really the Pandavas what are the qualities with them? In the story, it is told that the Pandavas were five brothers. And five brothers having different qualities. First name was Yudhishthira. Second was Bhim, Arjun, Nakul and Sahadev. Basically, as when we talk about Yudhishthira, we talk about that Dharm Samrat. Yudhishthira means the soul is formed even in adverse circumstances. The soul who is focused, who is formed even in adverse circumstances, that Yudhishthira. The state of mind is very constant, very still. Second is Bhim. A person having a very big personality, having a gada of knowledge, that when the problem comes, the state of mind is on the higher side. And with the knowledge of Gada. And when, as when the state is up on the higher side, that problem becomes very small. And then he kicks out that uh, problem, which is the knowledge of Gada. Arjuna, who is focused, Laksh is focused, is not deflected, is not affected by anything, any surroundings, is focused that this is my aim. And Nakul and Sahadev, Nakul, he always says no for negativities. Nakul, we can understand in that different way also that the person is always ready to inculcate positivities, good qualities from any from, from anywhere. And Sahadev. A soul who is always ready, even if he is very busy, is already ready for Sahyog and the Iswariya Karya, for the Yagya. Basically, Pandavas is not a collection of five brothers. Basically, all those five qualities in a person, all those qualities that comes in one person, that is called Pandavas. And whosoever becomes Pandavas, that is, it gets the company of God. So, even, so Baba has talks about that your form is light. And what type of light? Constant light. And also Baba tells that, my dear children, you are light. Your father is light. Your home is also the element of light. So, simply remembering the word light will include all the knowledge. And when you see the word light, the L will stand for lawful, loveful. That lawful means following Srimad line by line, word by word, and loveful. That even if we are, even in adverse circumstances, even if we are following the rules and relations, we are very strict also. And in the same way, we are very lovely also. And I, 
is for inward inward journey i is for introspection from always be in the journey of going inwards that is journey from baya mukta to antar mukta and then the introspection and in the introspection checking and changing and g becoming gyan swarupa gyan amurta and as for very very honest with self and baba and t the self transformation and world transformation that is lawful loveful inward journey introspection checking changing g for gyan swarupa as for honest and t self transformation and world world transformation so baba talks about this light and baba asks us to take this gift of this one word light with you and you will easily become a destroyer of obstacles acha have all the people <clears throat> of kubli created heaven in every home the really wonderful line which baba talks about that okay satyu will come at his time but which children are real makers of satyu ga real makers of heaven so for that that making is to be done now or never it has to be done now because now in this purushottam shangam yuga in the presence of the almighty teacher and the opportunity that we are having definitely we can create a satyuga within ourselves and as an every child of baba all the people of hubli as the sample children what they are but uh, while talking to the children of hubli baba is talking to all children that we all children should have so to transform the world within to sat sat pradhan to satyog and in that process every form is created into heaven and in this process of self transformation home transformation to world transformation we were told to the children of hubli that you are previously worshippers of shiva that is baba is telling us that my dear child earlier you were worshiping shiva you were pujaris now you are becoming pujya as now you yourself belong to the clan of shiva so the journey from pujari to pujya is there and that process you have claimed all the rights pana tha ko pa liya or baat bhi raha na kuch so there is nothing left for you to ask for you have easily attained all treasures have you not ya bhagwan ko pa liya to kya ban gaya you have become those who have claimed all rights and this also enable others to become the same you are not those who are asking for anything as because bhagwan ko pa liya bhagwan hi apna ho gaya when god has become my own when baba has become my sansar as we say baba you are my father you are my mata you are my pita you are my bandhu you are my sakha you are my sarvashwa so when you are my sarvashwa whatever you are having is my so pana tha so pa liya and so all cries of how should i do this what should i do this i have now stopped 
and the natural process has taken place, that sun karan has taken place. And when the sun karan has taken place, the attitude has become same. The transformation is to taking place as all have become as what Baba wants to have same attitude and then really this world can be transformed Om Shanti Om Shanti now we can remain in silence for a minute and then we can go for savings. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, yes, Sanjay Bhai. Yes, we can start with it. Beautiful Murli, and I would like to share this particular point where Baba said that take the gift of this one word light with you, and you will easily be free from all obstacles, destroyer of all obstacles. That's uh, Nirvigna and Vigna Vinashak stage. The uh, <clears throat> soul is a point of light. And when we <clears throat> uh, are in this consciousness of that, I am a point form. Uh, I am spreading, radiating light. So <clears throat> that light itself becomes the might. And it's a sense. I am in the sense. The soul is in the sense of the world <clears throat> that's the point form and the more soul stays and has a constant practice of staying in the point form point of light form then the more might it gathers and uh, it's able to uh, change the transform the inner world as well as the <laughs> outer world so light really is a word which if we are in this consciousness then it can destroy obstacles and not only a soul personal obstacles but also the world's obstacles too. So I would like to share this this particular very important point. I am the light. Let there be light everywhere through through me. Let there be light everywhere. Wherever I go, wherever I you know, whether in office, home, marketplace, anywhere, let there be light everywhere. Divine light spreading from the soul, from my words, thoughts, words, and actions. Let there be light everywhere. Om Shanti. Shanti, very 
rightly said that light is very important and for light all the windows all the doors have to be opened and for the light uh, the transformation from and as the light comes in that LIGST that uh, as the light comes in the darkness disappears and when the darkness disappears, the awareness comes. And when the awareness comes, we become Gyan Swarupa. And when we become Gyan Swarupa, our state of mind changes. And when our state of mind changes, there is self-transformation. And when there is self-transformation, the network starts building. With the self transformation, with the transformation around us, the world transformation do take place. So, light is might. And uh, Sister Radha Mani has said, our form and the form too is light. Our home is also in the element of light, right? Baba is a light. So children are also light and they are light because they belong to the world of light. Very nice. When Baba talks about transformation, Baba talks about world transformation. And for that, Baba says that collective home is required, that collective sacrifice is required. And when the collective sacrifice is there, the transformation Baba takes, Baba talks that the transformation takes place in a second. Anybody else would like to say? Om Shanti. Uh, Om Shanti. So, um, um, Baba says this light uh, is just one word that contains all, you know, it includes all the knowledge um, uh, in it. And Baba also says that the devotee is right on the path of uh, devotion, right? So um, that light is uh, ignited, right? There is a lamp kept uh, always, right? So in front of the images. So it is actually, Baba says it's a memory of uh, uh you know we uh, souls um constantly ignited the lamp in our living cons when uh, during the sunken yuk so that's also beautiful um to know that uh, during this time right when um we have ignited the, the lamp that which is of the soul consciousness right so uh, in uh so this becomes the memory right in the on the path of devotion and that is why everywhere the light, um, light, even if it's a dead body, somebody will keep a light uh, beside that, right? If it's a, uh, uh, a deity uh, in a worshipping um, form, right? There also light is kept. And the whole world is moving towards light. If you look at um, right, the market or the, the house or uh, um, any place, you know, that the decoration uh, nowadays that coming out of the more invention or uh, varieties of um, uh, decoration is coming is in the form of light. There are so many dresses also uh, uh, um, in the market, which is, you know, uh, decorated with so many lights. And uh, I, overall, if you look at it, you know, there's, uh, there's so much of invention happening with the different varieties of light. And everywhere it is getting decorated with lights, lights and lights. Uh, I think it's a small shift required that um, that we are this light. You know, and we um, basically we are that form of light. Uh, I think one day that will that uh, the truth <laughs> that we are light will be revealed and everybody yeah. Um, uh, one way when we see all this light, it should um, easily um, 
uh, make our remembrance uh, easy to uh, remember about. But like Baba said, all the knowledge is also included in light. We are light. The home is light. Baba is light. Everything is light. And what we see outside is also light. So in a way, that is that should supposed to help us in remembering Baba. At the moment we see any light, we should it should immediately trigger that we should we are this and we have to become this, right? So <clears throat> good to see all this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, sir. Uh, brother, you told that uh, light is kept in front of a dead body. As because the soul has moved out, death has taken place. So that light is kept in the front of that body because light is also life. Light means life. When it is darkness, there is fear. And when the light comes, the state becomes fearless. So light is also might. It removes fear. It gives us the strength. So, as Baba is light, and when that light comes in our life, the darkness of ignorance is over. The positivity comes in our life. And in that process, the transformation do take place. So, light is also life. If light comes, might comes. The fear goes out, love comes in, and this is the remembrance in this in the remem in this remembrance for the remembering of our state. But Baba is talking about the constant light. The devotees to remember us by igniting the lights, putting the lights in the temples, and they put the lights in the front of deities. So, light is very important. Light makes us light, makes us, makes our life fearless, makes our life full of love, makes our life full of hope. So, we consider this Kali Yuga as darkness, but the Sangam Yoga is the Time when the light comes and the final stage that output it's Satyuga that is full of light, full of love, full of energy. Anybody other sharing? Any other sharing? Girjaya sister writes, I am light, father is light. Kali, uh, yeah, Kaliuga is light. Uh, sorry, uh, dark, uh, darkness. which means yeah, darkness. But uh, the more uh, you know, the core Kaliuga, uh, the pins darkness, right? It's moving towards, and <clears throat> as it is moving towards, it pins dark, right? So uh, the light is also increasing if you see all around, right? Though it's, it is in the form of uh, a decoration lights or whatever it may be, uh, it's increasing. So the decoration has become in the form of light. So if we look at it, that light is uh, shining. It's because of the current. There is current going, right? So it's because of that, it is um, it is lighting. It's flowing light everywhere. But Baba is, there is no current, right? There's no power supply given to Baba. So Baba is shining because of the qualities, because of uh, the virtues and the qualities that that is in Baba, right? So similarly, we souls are also with so same quality. So we are also light where we don't need, uh, Baba doesn't need any current or any electricity to light. Whereas we need, right? Um, we have to take it from Baba and then uh, lit our light, right? Actually, what happened when we became uh, body conscious we forgot our yatharth swarupa, we forgot our original swarupa, original state. Actually, originally we are light. Because we are a child of that light Baba. So we all are light. But when 
when it happens in the through light, the carbon comes, the light uh, becomes flickering. And uh, that's what happened to us when we became body conscious. But again, with the sun of Baba, with the rung of Baba, again, we are transforming ourselves into light. As the light comes from Baba, as you told that a uh, lot of lights are there in this Kaluga. That is a, see, but what happens when there is darkness, there is a fear, a lot of fear. So in that process, one tries to see any light coming from anywhere, any ray of hope coming from anywhere, but it is not coming. They try, try, try and try and try. And in that process, a lot of uh, things do come in. But uh, the real help, the real light, the real awareness comes only when Baba comes and gives us the real light. All the lights are the pseudo lights. But the real light, uh, when Baba comes, because there are a lot of hopes comes in, in the, when, we, when we are in fear, but uh, all the help uh, seems only to be help. But when the time comes, no help is there. But really and really the help comes, the light comes, the awareness comes, uh, remo uh, that uh, removal of that fear comes only when Baba comes. Because when Baba, because Baba's light is might, the light which we get in the world seems to be might, but when time comes, it goes in vain, and we we realize in our life, and due to that only, we remove we we have we become, we have we become varagya from the world. That is the help which are getting from the world is conditional. But Baba's help, Baba's light, Baba might is unconditional. Only and that only and only that we do the Purushat as but Baba says, as you told that that power, that power comes from the Purusharat. And as we as we do Purusharat, that power comes to us. And that light, what power talks that about that is might. And Gija sister talks about the power of light, light of love, light of knowledge, absolute absorption of this of his love. Om by also being light makes us delightful. Gija sister also said that I am light, father is light, my home, element of light. If Gija sister is there, Give your sister if you want to share. Now she also said when from being in Siva's clan, embodiment of knowledge. Now I am part of Lord Ganesha's clan. Vigna Vinasa. I spread the fragrance of heaven, right? I spread the fragrance of Baba. Because Baba's light, Baba's knowledge, we transform from thorn to flower. That is the Purusharth. And the and as we become Ruhe Gulab, the real rose, the fragrance spreads automatically. And when the fragrance is there, people are attracted to that fragrance. And they start talking about from where the fragrance is coming. And in that process, they come to Baba. That's nice. Any other sharing? I could connect to what Baba mentioned today while he was speaking to the Hubli group that um, you know we, we are the one who creates heaven. But what, what I was getting was um, I I had been an avid bhakt of Shiva and there had been a, you know, while I was doing bhakti there had been uh, a lot of rigidness that this has to be done this way the water on the Shivlinga should be poured in a particular manner only. There was a lot of fear, but the moment I got the knowledge, um, I think on the third or the fourth day of Raj Yoga, when I got the distinction between what is Shiva and what is Shankar, and what is the spiritual essence of this, I think from that day onwards, that fear has transformed into freedom, because now there's a relationship with Father. And I could connect this conversation with Baba was talking about as 
how my fear transformed into freedom and faith rather than having any kind of you know inhibitions of if i do something like this i'll be punished today i know baba is mine it is absolute freedom to connect with baba through all relationships and that's what is heaven for me om shanti om shanti very rightly said sister that uh, earlier it was a uh, fear it was a rigidity fear that kya ho jayega pata nahi but when the light comes when the knowledge comes everything becomes very very clear and when there is clarity in the path when there is clarity there is really freedom the fear part minimizes and the freedom part increases that what happens earlier we were used to call ourselves as hum bhagwan ke das hain charno ke dhool hain now we children call us we call ourselves as hum baba ke aankhon ke noor hain we are not in the foots of baba but we are in the lap of baba that's the beauty of knowledge that we got and we understood that i belong to the clan of shiva i am baba's child and when i am baba's child why fear and and baba is with me combined with me why fear when baba is my dear why fear when baba is my dear any other sharing from anybody in the meantime sister uh, gurja has said from becoming rupa san that is embodiment of knowledge and sour of knowledge and i am ready like a moth to totally surrender swaha complete sacrifice or trivialities end and then i become master igniter of souls powerful light light of love light of knowledge absolute absorption of this love i become basan shower of his fragrance very nice sister anybody else for any sharing i think that is the reason why life is defined in different ways we have already covered many um by this um, if you look at it light is prakash right um and uh, baba says light is knowledge and light gives better clarity right so uh, it um, uh, disperses darkness and the light is also problem solving right so when all any doubts or uh, any anything that is cluttered right light helps us to declutter it solve yes. unsolved yes. problems yes, yes. as baba told in the murli that uh, the light should be constant light uh, the name bharat bha is for light and rat is that a uh, place who is continuously emitting light that constant light to that as because baba comes in bharat so bharat is bharat as when baba comes to bharat due to that only bharat is bharat continuously emitting light of knowledge so it is called bharat om shanti anybody else any sharings Uh, can uh, can we go for meditation now? Yes, brother. Okay. let us start our journey
let the soul whose form of light let the soul fly high Let the soul move upwards, crossing the clouds, crossing the stars, moons, the sun. Let the soul fly high, high, and high. And as we read Parambhan, the wonderful place Pull off this golden light. The powerful place. Wherever beloved Baba. Ananda Ka Sagar. Prem Ka Sagar. Karuna Ka Sagar. We become very close to Baba. And as we move closer, our negativity is getting burnt. The negativities which we have accumulated in different births, is getting burnt. As the negativities are getting burnt, we are feeling light. Feel the light of happiness, the light of ananda, the light of praying, the light of karuna is coming from Baba. And that light of karuna, light of love, is transforming me for so and as the calm crowd low move and in power and the soul is getting dimmest we are moving closer to Baba as calm crowd low move and car is diminishing Disappearing, we are moving gradually closer to Baba. And now the most wonderful thing has taken place. The most wonderful event. I have come close to Baba. I have become combined with Baba. I'm feeling the real love. I'm in the lap of Baba. Feeling very secure. Just be in that state of love. Experience this state.
and then taking leave from Baba. And the journey from Nirakari world to the Sakari world by crossing the star, moon, the cloud, and again coming to the body, entering the body with a lot of freshness after experiencing the wonderful love of Baba. After experiencing the wonderful Sangha of Baba. And let us remain in that state of mind throughout the day with the real transformation in self, transforming the world around. And in that process, let us be right hand of Baba. And let us transform this world from hell to heaven. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Um, thank you, uh, Sanjay Bhai, for the beautiful session and commentary. Thank you, Devan family. Let's remain light um, throughout the day and experience uh, barren light. We'll meet uh, tomorrow at 5 a.m. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.